What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of the Tech once again, and welcome to episode 21 of Mining Rig Wars. If this is one of your first episodes ever, the rules are pretty simple. If you are viewing and you want to vote, just click the I up in the corner and then click the poll and vote for your favorite rig. If you'd like to submit a rig yourself, you can either email submissions at sonofatech.com with all relevant info, including parts, hash rate, and at least two pictures, or you can go to sonofatech.com and click the Submit Your Rig tab. That all aside, we are also doing Farm Wars now on Sundays at 6 p.m. And we just picked up a limited supply of the May Your Hash Rates Be High and Your Watts Low bumper stickers, which you can pick up at sonofatech.com slash merch. They're $3 and they go to supporting the channel and we're going to do only a run of 100 of them. So go pick it up right now before they're all sold out. Let's get into it. Welcome back. So basically, we're just going to go over the rigs here. Rig A is named Time to Crypto, and he didn't give us a name, so we're just going to say Owner is Time to Crypto. He's rocking three EVGA S Fan 1066 gigabytes, three GTX EVGA for the win, two plus editions, 1066 gigabytes again, so a total of six of them, two EVGA G3 850 watt power supplies, a single Kingston 120 gigabyte SSD, and four gigs of RAM. He has a seventh gen Celeron processor. I'm assuming this is gonna be a G4400 or G3930, something along those lines. However, he didn't specify, but we can kind of be pretty sure it's one of those as the motherboard is a Gigabyte GA H110D3A, which is a great mining motherboard, but they're also hard to get your hands on anymore these days. His total hash rate is 828 solutions a second on Equihash algorithm, which is a smart move for those particular cards. Next, we have Rig B Mining Dominator by Mike. He's rocking six RX 574 gigabytes with four gigabytes of Corsair memory, 1200 watts uh, for the power supply, specifically a Corsair power supply. I'm pretty sure we can get that link for you guys with a specific model. An MSI Z170A motherboard. Uh, once again, doesn't specify the processor, but uh, judging from that motherboard in particular, we're gonna be looking at probably a G4400 something along those lines. It does specify Pentium and 120 gigabyte SSD from SanDisk. The frame is homemade. It actually is out of wood with a little bit of aluminum. So kind of mixing things up with, with uh, different materials there. And his total hash rate is 134 mega hash a second. Next is Rig C Extreme Bootstrap by Panchi. I don't know if I said that right. I apologize if I mispronounced that. I am from Texas. He's rocking four 1060 minis with one fan each. I'm assuming that means he's probably looking at like the, the Zotac minis here, if I had to take a guess. And so that might be the three gigabyte models as well, but Zotac did have a six gigabyte model mini. So clarifying that would be awesome for us in the, in the description below, if you could. He has the ASRock H110 BTC Pro, so plenty of room for expansion on this, and a one terabyte hard drive and a 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply i'm not sure exactly which one it is there it's a little hard for me to be able to tell he has a total hash rate of 85 to 92 mega hash a second is what he clarified rig d is rukia by elvis he's rocking 11 msi rx 580 gaming x 8 gigabytes with all bios mods enabled the motherboard is an Asus Prime Z270A and 8 gigabytes of G-Skill memory, the Ripjaw 5 series, which is kind of, I guess, not that big of a deal when we're talking about mining here. And an Intel Pentium processor, G4400. There, we're finally getting it called out all the way here. And a Corsair AXI series, 1500 watt, and an HXI 1000 watt power supply. Total hash rate is 337 mega hash a second. And then finally, we have Riggy Yolanda Vega by Lavi. 
and he's got pretty much a standard PC build going on here, but he clarifies that he's moving, you know, to picking up a couple more Vegas. And the reason I'm going to go ahead and classify this as a mining only rig is that he's rocking a G4400. It isn't a DIY PC illusion case, but with that particular processor, you're not really going to be getting any gaming out of it. And the Vega 56 would, you know, pretty much not be able to run games that well with only a G4400 to back it up. So I'm assuming this is only mining. And like I said, he is working towards adding some more Vegas. I don't know if he has yet. Let us know in the comment section below if you if you have. Um, he's got the EVGA 750 GQ 80 plus gold, eight gigabytes of DDR4, 120 gigabyte SSD, and we already mentioned the case and all of that. The motherboard is a Gigabyte Z270P D3. And I need to look that one up, but I mean, there's definitely expansion for at least two more Vegas there. And as you can also tell here, he is running eight gigabytes of memory, which is probably going to be beneficial with the RX 56. I know that that kind of has been resolved for the most part, but it still makes things easier for getting that higher hash rate. Now he does state that he's getting 2050 hash a second. I'm just wondering how reliable that is on a 24 seven basis if you could let us know because eh, once you start getting over eight well once you start getting over 2000 on the 56 and the 64 they get pretty unstable he does have some settings here that we'll probably just post in the description below now my opinion on this rig is that it has the best cable management out of all of the <laughs> recent submissions for mining rig wars so badass job man the blue lights are awesome. I wish they were RGB though, but I, I think the DIY PC Illusion case comes with those and that front fan grill is pretty sexy for one of those uh, more budget minded cases. Now, of course, if you're going to expand to two more cards, you're probably not going to want to stick with anything in that case. Um, so, you know, maybe get a bread basket is what I would do or what the crates. Sorry, not a bread basket, a crate and put it to the side and then just mount the other two cards in there and that's probably going to be the easiest way to do it and yet still keep using your case and all in all should be okay obviously leaving the side panel off is going to be mandatory at, at that point though now on rig d i mean this is one of the best ones from this week and it's pretty much this is kind of what i like to see because we we did split up mining rig wars and mining farm and i said you know the the stipulation there was if you have more than one motherboard however i will say this is coming out to having a lot more gpus than some of the ones getting submitted to even mining farm wars with 11 580s on a single motherboard and a motherboard that is also not one that natively supports this many gpus uh, on the board itself so he's having to use some uh, extenders or expansions there i'm i'm assuming at this point because it is the asus prime c270a and a lot of people ask me about the extensions of you know buy one to buy four pcie expanders and this is one, it's very motherboard dependent, but this is one of the motherboards that it does appear to work on. I see this a lot. So pretty awesome work there, man. I think you could even get to 13. Anything above 13 I hear is pretty much uh, starts becoming more difficult. Uh, lots of power. So I think you still have room to expand power wise. All the fans uh, on the front do appear to be placed on, there's one fan her you know GPU here so keeping it cool keeping it cool and nice so this is a really great build I think that is a pre-built case though I'm not sure let me know where you picked up that case from because I would be interested it does look stackable as well but it looks very 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 familiar now with rig C I really need to know if those are six gigabytes or three gigabytes like I said I think we determined that be uh, with that hash rate or proposed hash rate I think you have to uh, be, have six gigabytes at this point and we do know that for ethereum in particular which he is mining uh, from what I can tell well from the hash rate that the three gigabytes are going to get knocked off of that uh, sooner than later if they already aren't kind of starting to get knocked off ethereum 
but there are other ET hash coins, don't get me wrong, that you can move all over to something like Pearl, for example. The possibility for expansion here is great with the ASRock H110 BTC Pro. Of course, you're going to have to upgrade that power supply, which I would probably be leaning towards upgrading before even adding one more card there, uh, just because you do have a max TDP on those 1060s of 120 a piece. So you're already looking at taking up close to 500 watts, and then the motherboard's going to be about another 130 watts. So you're already kind of way above that, that preferred 50%. And then you're getting close to like going over 80% usage just as the rig sits here. So before you touch anything else, I think the power supply is what you're going to want to upgrade here. The Mining Dominator Rig B here, I really dig the entire aesthetic of the custom frame. The wood is cut out perfect. That's some nice wood there. And then just matching it up with the aluminum. I am curious if the aluminum is specifically to help with the heat dissipation. I hear people that do use that as a strategy to for the cards. I've never seen it actually proven to be uh, worth it or not for heat dissipation. Other than that, I think just for mounting it, it could be beneficial though. And or maybe you already just had a piece of aluminum that ran that far down so you can mount it on the wood frame. Reasoning behind that would be awesome, but great frame. The rest of the rig is a pretty much a standard go to. Hey, if you want to know how to build an RX 570 rig, here you go. Take a look at the parts, pick them out and go to town. The MSI Z170A is one I use for a long time. Some people have some issues with the BIOS settings. I have a video that you can check out. I'll try to link it at least in the description or up in the corner along with the rest of the videos. And you can head on over there if you're having trouble getting more than four GPUs recognized on it. I've gotten up to seven on them. They're pretty solid motherboards. And as the BIOS releases have come out, have gotten even better for mining. And a lot of times they're easier to find than like the ASUS version. Now, finally wrapping it back up with where we began. Rig A, time to crypto. He's basically got a standard, what I would say, go-to for an Equihash mining rig, a starter Equihash mining rig with the GTX 1060 six gigabytes here. Now, I will say that if you can get the 1063 gigabytes in a lot of cases the three gigabyte and the six gigabyte are so close together yet the price is so far apart that it can be beneficial to go with the three gigabytes over the six gigabytes just for cost and roi however there is something to be said for the fact that getting the six gigabytes do kind of give you that buffer on ethereum and if all the equihash coins took a crap you still have some more or a wider option of algos to go with. And we already do know that the six gigabytes because of the additional core clocks, but with the GPU market like it is right now, I can't really tell you yay or nay on six gigabyte versus three gigabyte. It's gonna be very, very uh, region specific and very specific to your uh, situation. Cause you know, you could be able to be picking up six gigabytes at this point for the same price as three gigabytes, depending on where you're at. So. I don't know. Throw it all out the window. We have no GPUs. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Mining Rig Wars. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you next Tuesday.